Welcome to the pod, to the pod, to the pod. <laughs> Welcome to the... I miss Jack. Everyone's going to miss Jack. Yeah. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. Oh, my goodness. I feel like we've started many episodes with, oh, my goodness. Yeah, that's so true. <laughs> I guess we, we haven't actually officially caught up since we've spoken, but we haven't actually yeah. officially caught up since the stag. No, I've actually wanted to start off by apologising. I was quite quiet in that episode. Mm. I kind of watched it back and I was like, yeah, I thought I'd straight away apologize for for being a little bit quiet the way i want to start this podcast Mm -hmm. this episode we're finding out that we're doing this more and more i have a conversation with someone and i want to bring it to you and and ask you Mm. what you do in this situation do you remember what episode three was called season one episode three vinted Vinted. (laughs) we've mentioned it we've mentioned it so much (laughs) every single time i sell anything on vinted yeah even if it's two pound fifty yeah as soon as it comes into my balance i take it out two pound fifty out i didn't realize that it was possible to leave it in there. Yeah. I mean, I obviously did know that, yeah. but I just never thought to leave it in there yeah. until I was having dinner with my mate Ollie. Shout yeah. out to Ollie and Amy; they're they're new listeners. Great. So, um, and Ollie said, "Oh, look at what Amy's got in a in in our vintage balance," yeah. and it was in the hundreds. Yeah. And so anything they buy on vintage is basically free. free. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Yeah. So what do you do? I have been on an absolute roll, heartbreak, but I had this beautiful Adidas track jacket. Mm. I hadn't worn it for ages. I wore it for one day. I had a ton of compliments. Oh, it was a brilliant come day. Come on, yeah. And then I got home and Karen was like, oh, you're wearing that again? Ooh. Yeah. So I was like, you know what? That's fine. It's Don't wear go. it enough. It's gone. Wow. And I sold that. I've sold some Burks. I've sold some jeans, you mm. know, and my, my balance... Mm. Is, is looking good i can afford a double cheeseburger from mcdonald's that's all i'm saying come on so can i but only because my rewards through the mcdonald's app are sky high <laughs> what i find right is if you want us and this is my vintage advice yeah, okay. if you want a specific pe- pair of trainers yeah don't search for the specifics of the trainers and that sounds counterintuitive but the reality is that some people don't know the name no. or the style yeah, yeah, yeah. Of, so yeah. they just know it as yeah. nike yeah so now what i do is i just search nike yeah my size yeah. and then i just i just scroll I'm exactly the same. and then you find the gems that way yeah. even if it's something that you know you're not going to buy mm. do you favorite something so that then you're recommended no oh, okay. what i do is i favorite something based on are you going to offer it to me cheaper yeah you know because then nice. I, I think oh would i pay 20 pounds for that probably not but i'll favor it and you come up with 15 and i decline and i come up you with 12 you're offended you come at me with 13 i go you were 12 50 i'm never gonna buy it in the first place <laughs> and then i just leave you accepted 12 50 and i never pay yeah. and i'm so sorry to I, everyone yeah, I've i do i that. do apologize to all of those people that i've just offered something yeah. they've accepted it and then it's been like you panic yeah. yeah i'm like oh no i actually didn't want this anyway <laughs> let us know in the comments do you withdraw your balance on yeah. vintage yeah. or do you keep it in there yeah that that was game changing i, I don't me. think i actually answered you are a, i i keep it you're in. a keeper yeah I, if i just withdraw it it's just gonna get spent so i'm like oh i've actually it's got a little like, savings I've pot got, yeah it actually wow. it turns into basically a little bit of savings vintage pot. is a bank as well yeah wow it's great you know what vintage Vinted. it's brilliant <laughs> we love it let's go on to high lows of the week high lows of the week da, 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 da. isn't that a high school musical high school musical, musical. yeah it is <laughs> um what would jack do if he was here dum ba dum ba dum bum ba da ba dum high and lows of the week how you doing highs and lows of the week boom oh I'll start with a low. So I've worked from home for almost two years, right? Mm-hmm. And so it's 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 very remote. So I yeah. go into the office one day a month yeah. down to London to see my peeps. Yeah. And they're always fun days. But I think I've reached my limit. And, and you can judge this whether I have reached my limit or not. Yeah. I stubbed my toe on the corner of my bed. Normally in the past, I would have reacted in anger. But I think the fruits of the spirit are playing out in That's my life. Great. And so I'm, I stubbed my toe and I looked at myself in the mirror. This is 100% serious. I rolled my eyes and I went, look at us. No, <laughs> no, you didn't. But then the, it gets worse. I, I, I just was like, oh my goodness, what am I doing? I'm talking to myself in the mirror. But I said that whilst talking to myself in the mirror hilarious and i was like oh my goodness that's such a low like maybe i have been uh, working yeah. from home too long maybe yeah. it's time for me to to seek other opportunities i'm not to, i'm just FYI. 34 I, yeah that was that was when i was 34 as well and since then i've turned 35 guys <laughs> spoiler alert yeah. but that's my high yeah yeah so I'll, I'll do both go on my high is i've turned 35 there you go 35 alive thrive 
jive. Yeah. Go on. Love it. Give us a jive. Skibbity bat bat ba doobity. <laughs> Skibbity bat bat ba doobity. Is that a jive? That's a that's a scat. scat. Isn't the jive a dance? Yeah, I know, but I wasn't going to move because I'm worried that the mic will yeah, move. Yeah, and yeah. For those listening, I haven't. I'm, yeah. I'm currently jiving. And, whoa, it's true. incredible. Wow, he's so good at jiving, Ben. Wow. Thanks, Archie. So there you go. I've turned 35. <laughs> More on 35 later on. Nice. Give us your high lows, please. High lows, low highs. Ooh, low highs. Low yeah. highs. I actually was trying to think. I don't know if I have a low this week. Mate, that, which is nice. that is... Not- not because I've had a fantastic, phenomenal week where everything's oh. been brilliant. Oh. But as in, I just that's can't really remember anything. That's a shame. I just can't really remember anything that got me down. Um, I can, you want me to just throw some things at you and see if it I, put you I, down? Yeah, I mean... Did you stub your toe this week? No, I didn't. Did you look in the mirror this week and roll your eyes at yourself and go, look at us? No. No, okay, that's not a low. Uh, I mean, Karen's been ill. Maybe I should have said that as oh, now. She's been a bit ill. She had a, that's a shame. A common cold. Oh, I'm sorry, Karen. Hope you feel better. Here's your shout out from i was gonna say uncle ben but that's because oh. that's because i spent so much time with my nieces and nephews yesterday <laughs> um no what's your high my high mm. do you remember lauren who gave us those two massive bars of yes loza so she she messaged me the other day lovely message from lauren mm. and she said so just a little hilarious message to say i cried at the pod this evening i can't remember what episode she was watching positive cry Listen. negative cry yeah, yeah, yeah. otherwise it would have been she was alive. like just happy tears for you I just about pulled myself together and then I saw you and Karen running together and so I started weeping again. The pod is so joyful and literally makes me laugh every episode. Hope you're both well. Oh, Loz. So she's just like... You're a legend. She pulled herself together and then she saw And she Karen saw and you I in running. real life. Yeah. And then just... Happy tears. She was just laugh. really happy. Mate, that is so encouraging. Me, which is lovely. Yeah. Yeah, really, Thanks, really Lauren. Nice. Yeah. If you are loving the pod as much as some people say they are, then you can leave it a review. Yes. On Apple Podcasts, yes. Spotify. Spotify. We've got six reviews, six five star reviews. No yeah. comments yet though. No. So we could we could do with a few comments. Yeah. So yeah, Lauren, thank you so much for that. Yeah. That's that really kind. Nice. Another high for me. Wow, double high. Yeah, I, I double, just wanted... Double, double, double high. That's triple high. Sorry. Double, double high. Surely that's a quadruple because you've doubled it. Oh yeah, I double doubled it. You've squared it. Double, double high. Squared. <laughs> okay, hit us with another high. Um, my other high is you. What? You put some content out for your 35th birthday and just seeing the progression you've made over the last year really encouraged me and warmed my heart because I was just like he's done what he set out to do over the last year so you've really worked hard this last year and you've yeah. stuck at them and come out the other other end of it a better man mate thank you and and it really really encouraged me because I just was like yeah he's done a lot this year you look great your relationship with Jesus is great and what you're saying is just brilliant and you're thinking and you're wise and it just was like, oh yeah, flip, he's, it, it, it just was brilliant. I was just oh, really mate. happy for you. I'm going to get emotional. That means, <laughs> honestly, that means a lot. Yeah. That means a heck of yeah. a lot to me. So yeah. thank you, my boy. Let's go on to Thankful for. Yeah, because... thankful for. This week I'm thankful for, thankful for. This week I'm thankful for, thankful oh, for. We- <laughs> <laughs> you can tell it's unrehearsed, oh, it's people. Brilliant. You can tell it's unrehearsed. Whoa. I just panicked because I don't know how to harm it. <laughs> Mate, that, that was so good. Thank you. That was phenomenal. As soon as thankful I thankful you know for. This week I'm thankful for. Thankful. Do you know what? As yeah. soon as I started it, as soon as I finished the first phrase, I was like, "This is brilliant." <laughs> yeah. In your head, in my head, I was like, yeah. "Best one yet." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, hundred percent. Mine actually leads on from Lauren's shout out. Oh, okay. So I, um, I'm thankful for Magnet Club, which is uh, two colleagues of mine, and the three of us, and we've all had MRI scans, which is why it's called Magnet Club. Right. Uh, shout- Sorry. <laughs> I've- <laughs> I realised as soon as I started laughing and you like talking about MRIs, it's like, oh, this actually sounds serious. No. I thought you just meant like magnets. Yeah, we just love magnets. <laughs> we just can't get enough of magnets. <laughs> and so Rio and Phil are just, they're just so encouraging, mm. which is which is one thing, but to, to a bit like what you just said then, I think to speak it out over someone. Yeah. And I said I said this in, the, in my 35th video, like encouragement is the currency of life yeah. or for life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I just feel that when we encourage each other and when people encourage me, I just feel lifted. Mm. They're just always looking out for me. Phil messaged me. I had a team day with Phil on Monday. Mm. And he messaged me on the way home saying, your podcast is really hard to listen to. And I was like, 
oh like I, I sort of did that classic like haha why but also like was really offended yeah, yeah. and then he said dot 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 without crying with laughter on oh, the tube brilliant. and then he said some um yeah just really encouraging stuff about the pod he's passed it on to a few bosses at premiere because he was like these guys are, are just doing wow. something special and uh yeah they're just they're just wonderful colleagues but but more more than that they're faithful friends yeah, which i just am so thankful That's for great. yeah shout out to magnet club you are my peeps and yeah. i am very very grateful and it's a privilege sorry, sorry nancy, nancy to uh yeah work with you but yeah, also nice. sharing moments with you so That's yeah great. what about you I'm thankful for, I mean, I'm always thankful for church, but I'm particularly thankful for church and sort of church family this week. And at the minute we're kind of on the, like, it's called belonging course. It's like the new members course, nice. essentially. Um, so kind of Wednesday evenings for a, a couple of months, um, we are basically learning how City Church do things, um, uh, the way they run things, their kind of beliefs. It just really encouraged me because I was like, yeah, this is where... Like personally, I want to be. You feel like you belong. belong. Come on. But it's it was kind of personally. It was like, yeah, this is where I want to be. Mm. But also, it was like I can see Karen and I getting yeah, married and nice. being here, which nice. was really, which was really great. And I like I already thought that, but it was quite just That's quite a beautiful affirming thing. thing. Yeah, just makes us really excited to get plugged in. Smart. Church family, just yeah, they are. Couldn't do life without it. I know. And I said again, this is not a shameless plug for my content, but again, it just it, when I was writing it, it was just writing thirty five things I've learned in yeah, thirty five yeah, years. Yeah. Community is the key to thriving. Yeah, that is that is for yeah. me just yeah. yeah, so I can I can see that. Karen and I were like thinking and praying about where we're supposed to be. Essentially we were like, I don't know if we're gonna stick around in Coventry. This was a conversation like a year ago so or started yeah. a year ago and i remember one of my colleagues i was speaking to her about coventry because she came to nexus and now works at nexus as well okay. really good friend she actually said i was actually typing out some highs of this week she was like one of your highs can be that you get to work with the best person in the world so shout out to ellie because she's she's great and is like a big sister to me she's still in Coventry because people are the gold yeah and i i was as soon as she said that and as soon as i then had that almost lens of like actually yeah it's because Coventry <laughs> yeah. not got a lot going for it as soon as I had that lens of like oh actually it's about the people I, mm. I don't want to be anywhere else lots of lovely friends and stuff here but then I've got close you know you in Birmingham other friends in Birmingham like just really well connected where we are yeah. and so yeah just people of the gold yeah that's cool it's such a good that thing that is awesome to. yeah 100% yeah Arch let's go on to relationship status yeah we, we spoke about that the stag the excitement yeah. building and being on the stag was great but obviously you just mentioned there that church is is really good and you can yeah. see you and karen moving towards yeah. towards marriage in that community yeah, yeah. so how are how are things how yeah. are, how's prep we feel like we're in a good place yeah, which good. is lovely we've had our rsvps back so we've now done the table plan that's another big thing done and we're just chipping nice. away at things really smoothly we're in a really good spot at the minute just feels like recently when we've been hanging out it's just been really joyful and we've just yeah. been having a lot we've just been having a lot of laughs recently it's just no oh, that's beautiful it's just been brilliant the pressure of wedmin is is real yeah like i, I think yeah. I've, I've seen my my siblings go through it i've seen yeah. some of my closest friends yeah. i've seen you go through it at the start yeah. of the year like it is it's a heck of a lot to yeah. organize and, and get sorted so and and i like i mean i don't know how she does it but karen is like planning a wedding finishing her third year but also then she's got a job at the the best the coffee, best coffee house coffee house in, in cov. the cov she she's just an absolute trooper i remember saying she's very steadfast and just mm. perseverant she would just get on with things and i just i love that about her yeah nice mate why don't you talk us through where you're at i said at the stag i feel hopeful mm -hmm. and I, I think i've continued to move towards that what i've realized arch there's a real sadness to this but also a real hope and i yeah. think when you get the balance right it's a beautiful thing in the time apart from lexi there have been some fundamental things that have been brought to light in my life yeah. that have needed genuine repentance mm -hmm. and needed genuine turning away from and to be honest in in stage one which is what i'm calling this the first stage of, of uh, us dating there were things that i was blind to there were areas and things that that god has been really kind in revealing in me in these last four or five weeks i think if we if we're both honest we, we still want to be with each other yeah and i think we're moving towards potentially a, a stage two and and going out on a date again and, and seeing where that leads mm. but yeah i think i think there's some real positives happening and god has, has used this time what i find incredible and i have to hold on to this redemption might not look like us getting back together redemption could just look like a brother and sister in christ being redeemed and being able to move forward in community yeah. like that is yeah that's the key here 
yeah. like everything else is secondary like the goal is is redemption for mm. a brother and sister in christ mm. and again there's just a few things that i've come to realize that over my life and and the way that selfishness creeps in i've just got used to doing stuff my way yeah. and i think that's just been really hard at times for her and quite painful mm. and i just was blind to it and yeah. so there's been genuine repentance genuine turning away from those moments and and belief in in a god that can change my heart yeah, that's good. repentance is turning away from sin and running towards him mm. i didn't mean to make that rhyme but like that is the that is what it is and yeah. so that's what I've I've tried to do over these last four weeks, and and I feel hopeful, mate. I feel hopeful of what's so to come. I'd be lying to, if I said that I didn't want to be back with her, but mm. but you know, God God's got it, and I trust Him, yeah. and His will be done, even if I do not like it. Yeah, that's that's the goal here. Yeah, and that's what we hold on to. Yeah. So genuinely warms me and encourages me hearing you say that sort of thing. Mm. I've seen you hit points in life with previous relationships, different situations with whatever's going on in life mm. and i I've, I've seen realistically i've seen you go quiet i've not heard from you in a while I've, oh 100 you know, yeah you, you will like realistically you you've turned away you've you've run away yeah running running away was and again that that for me is something there was times in in this relationship where running away was the was the wrong option mm. but it was it was my way out yeah. it was my escape and so yeah yeah but i just i just and I don't see that in you and that is purely testament to God and his faithfulness 100%. in you I mean it's also encouraging that you're not putting yourself on a pedestal and being like I'm great I'm doing no. all this stuff yeah. you are you are completely standing on hmm. God's faithfulness a firm foundation like you are building on the rock you're not building on the sand you are building hmm. on the rock a solid foundation yeah I, I genuinely I'm just chuffed for you thank because you because it's, it's so encouraging you're an encouragement and I love you thank you mate Love Should we go too. to Pursuit of Faithfulness? Yeah, let's do and it. And end with questions? Yeah, yeah okay. let's do it. Turning 35 has been fine, but mm -hmm. also really hard. And yeah. I think in, in both regards, like when I, I remember when I turned 30, I had this contingency number in my head that, oh, I'm not where I want to be now, but don't worry, I will be when I'm 35. And that mm. was married with kids. Okay. And so now you get to 35, you think, wow, the next, the next thing is 40. And that just feels like, whoa, like... That feels a lot. Yeah, sure. But again, I've just I've just had to remind myself of the truth of God's faithfulness, journaling every day, reminding myself, even on the train I started to to get a bit panicky about where I'm going and wh where I am and I just wrote down some truths of right then in the moment what I've learned, what I know to be true about God, what how he feels about me and then I just got Siri to read them out to me just to remind yeah, me and it was just and I wrote it as great. if God was speaking to me so it was like son I'm I'm proud That's of great. you and I just it, that yeah. was that was a really helpful thing to do so mm. also really quickly one of the pieces of content that you were speaking about is mm. I've decided or I did I I I I I've, deleted instagram mm. so i took a year off and again that really helped in my pursuit of holiness and i want i want to pursue holiness more than anything yeah. and i logged back onto instagram and i saw some outrageous things that that i i don't want to see but also not only that is as i you know you scroll through reels and you hear people talking about oh you know if you've got a toxic friend get rid of them and i'm just like this isn't like this isn't christ's way towards people and I'm like in, in the even even if it's not visual stuff that I'm seeing and it's like, oh, this is tempting. Mm. Like it's it's hearing and feeding you truths that just aren't right. Mm. And this isn't a, this isn't a, a a slamming of everyone who's on Instagram. I understand that, that people love it and people use it for good and people aren't in the same way taken away with it that, as I am. But but I think that the the right and good thing to do was to remove myself from it. And uh, it was a really hard thing because my own kingdom was being built on Instagram. Mm. And I think I had to come to the decision that, that am I in this life, am I more about building Ben Cutting and his kingdom? Mm. Am I more about building God? And that was an unbelievably difficult thing. It, it yeah. Like even this morning when I when I did delete it, it wasn't like, it, I, you know, they, they, I forgot my password, so I had to reset my, and it was a hard thing to do. And I was like, oh, maybe I'll just keep it or delete some of the content and just use it on. And I just was like, no, actually, like, I believe that you're saying, God, that I have to, like, this is an area of my life where it's mm. becoming an idol yeah. and I have to get rid of it. And so, um, yeah, totally got rid of it this morning. Oh. I became a Christian 30 years ago and I've been a Christian my whole life. I've never felt as excited or, or understood so what it means to me as I, as I do now, which is, which is phenomenal. You are brilliant. Thank you, mate. You are absolutely brilliant. I just really um, have been feeling like kind of the Holy Spirit has been speaking to me recently. Um, I think in Christianity, we have what we call the Trinity. So we have the Father, Son and the Holy Spirit. And I think for me, I've grown up understanding Father and Son. Hmm. I've never really understood Holy Spirit. It's never been something that was massively talked about in church. I've kind of always seen it as this a bit of a bolt on 
to the trinity yeah, uh, okay. and and i know for some people who who are not believers who aren't christians are going to be like what the heck is he talking yeah, about yeah, yeah. and message us and we will sort out a zoom call with you and we'll chat to you <laughs> yeah but i was just like oh yeah like i actually have this active relationship with the holy spirit and and he does speak to me mm. i'm not forgotten like yeah it, it, like he loves me and yeah i just have this brilliant relationship with the holy spirit yeah and so just just realizing that i just need to like trust those things and let let the spirit work within me mate that's awesome yeah that's so good yeah let's end with question by a family mm -hmm. questioned by your family lee, 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 lee. Oh. yeah not our best no. <laughs> let's, um, let's wrap up with it right here we go Maybe. this is uh well spoiler alert she'll tell us who it is oh hello there my name is jessica and i am benjamin's favorite sister and my question for you both is what is considered socially acceptable but in your opinion really shouldn't be Ooh. podcasts <laughs> <laughs> that's all we've got time for uh, folks yes <laughs> yeah i think some people would think podcasts it just seems a yeah, bit maybe. it just seems a bit cliche yeah it's it? a little like, bit even telling people yeah i've got a podcast i yeah. mean i love it and i'm super yeah. proud of it and yeah. i tell everyone that's great but also i think some people feel podcasts are a little bit yeah. like mm. feet feet yeah put your feet away people are out who's like but if people are just like i don't know if you're just sitting around mm. if you, like fair enough in the comfort of your own home but if you're out somewhere and you're just like you just got your feet out. Yeah, no, nah, that's like, put the dogs away. Like, that's 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 rough. Yeah, nah, and cutting toenails. Oh, uh, yeah. Sorry, everyone. I can I can like I can deal with like I'm first aid trained. Yeah, that sounds like a like flex. Oh. It's, it's not. I've it was, never. It was a three hour first aid course. It's not a flex at all. Honestly. Three hour. Sorry, three day. Oh. Wow, three day. Yeah. Wow. Mate. So you were properly first it aid was trained. Intense. So what are the like? I've done a two day course. On the third day, they just do cutting toenails. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but i can i can deal with stuff things yeah people's toenails on uh, the floor rough no yeah, that is bad yeah um i i don't i don't like phones on a table like if you're at a dinner yeah no, phones on that. a table yeah. just it just would you say that's socially acceptable though well, I, would, I think to I, some I, people to some yeah, people okay, it is fair. which yeah. and for me it's not yeah um i'll put my phone away when we're next to nando's yeah please do <laughs> <laughs> yeah it just it just leaves you feeling like disconnect to connect yeah. you know yeah oh we like that come on yeah i think middle lane drivers people are just it's not maybe it's not socially yeah. acceptable but they just sit there do you know what's annoying about middle lane drivers mm. is everything yeah i one one thing i i that, that i think is totally socially acceptable because it is just the norm paying for luggage to go on the holiday like that should be totally unacceptable why because you, it should be free like you, you've paid for your plane ticket. I see ticket, what you mean. Yeah, I see what you mean. And, and yeah. all of a sudden it's like, okay, well, what, what, I can't afford luggage. Well, what are you going to yeah, wear? Just yeah, the yeah. same clothes the whole time. Yeah. I thought you meant like people should just not be able to take luggage. No. <laughs> I no, was the, like, what? I'm the opposite, guys. I'm advocating for, for luggage taking, but for free. You yeah. Know? Yeah, I, yeah, I'll give you that. Feet. Feet, are, yeah, that's bad. They're just, not, they're just not good for the soul. <laughs> no, totally. Oh. Defeated. No. Mm. Oh nailed it no <laughs> oh no we're gonna have another repeat of that episode no we're not we're not we're not we're gonna move on oh. right there you go people that is episode 11 11 one thing yes, yes. one i text archie i text archie <laughs> this, this week this is brilliant one of my colleagues who's a marketing manager at premier text uh, in a meeting said that podcasters who have done 21 episodes are in the top one percent of all podcasters brilliant. so we need to get to episode 21 10 away we are 10 away come on so um yeah thank you very much for listening yeah Happy. episode 11 yeah 10 to go and then we're 10 to go and then we completed it and then we're and top then 1%. podcast completed it mate yeah love it thank you for listening wherever you are yeah whatever you're doing whatever you're doing take care look after yourselves happy chatting oh sorry oh, i wasn't were. ready no, you were awful i did come in quite quick there yeah, you were. Happy, happy chatting, chatting. Oh, i was there <laughs>